of you, buddy, and welcome back to another episode of our Villager House Tutorials. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing? Oh, man, we're back again doing another awesome tutorial. This time, we're going to be jumping straight into that brewing stand. Not inside. I mean, we're going to be going to the brewing stand, which is the Claret. And we're going to be making a really cool little church design. I got an awesome idea in mind. But let me show you what we've been doing so far to get us to this point. So far, we got these awesome bills. This was the first one we did. This was the farmer and is looking so good. This one right here is the fisherman. And uh, apparently, he's been stuck in that boat for the last couple episodes. This is our librarian house. Trust me, he's in there. He's reading books. That's why he's not outside. And here we go with our shepherd hanging out. Oh, and I added this little bit off Cammy Cam last time. Look at it. He's just in there having fun. And don't, trust me, he's working. He's not dozing off. There he is. Hi. And if you guys want to check out any of those previous builds, check out the playlist that is in the description. Go check it out if you missed any one of those. And this is going to be specific to our Plains Village biome. So today, we're going to keep it up right now with the church. And you know what? I'm going to do this one a little bit differently. I'm going to be making this church out of wood. Typically, I would go with the stones like we have in the normal Minecraft villages. But I'm going to change it up. Let's do this one out of wood. And this is the block palette we're going with. So typically, for this village, we'll be going with a lot of oak and a lot of spruce. Pretty much it. So we're going with that same concept. So let's get this started right now. All right, and here we go with the dimensions. Super simple. All this is right here is a 13 by 13 box all the way around. We're doing spacing uh, for each log right here by three in between. So it's super simple. And then we have this little pop-out area here in the center bit. And this one's just out by two. And then here's our little log placement. We're going to put a little step up in the middle. And then we're going to put windows on all these uh, little three by three sections. And we're going to be setting up the, the pews and everything on the inside. It's going to be kind of fun. I got an idea. So let's get this started. So let's start right Right now with the oak logs what i'm going to do really quickly let's start laying out this first little section here let's start right here in this corner so for right now uh, let's do it like this let's just go up by two so one and two give it a space of three go up one and two now right here this is the kind of uh palette we have going on the bottom so i'm going to go with stripped one two and three stripped oak on the bottom right here and then we're going with upside down stairs of our oak just like this so right there perfect now let's give this a space of one two three take this one also up by two Space of one, two, three. Take this one also up by two. And we're going to mirror that right there. So really simple. We're going to have our strip facing down. And then we're going to have our upside down stairs of oak just like this. Looking pretty cool. Then right here on the side, let's just take this up by two and up by two right here at this level. I'm going to put a little bit of a cross beam here and a cross beam right there on this side. Now, right here on the bottom, we're going to come back with our strip and go down two. Let's go down two right there in the front looking just like this. Now, let's go all the way around. And repeat this same little pattern. So let's do it one more time. One, two, three. Give it a space right there. Up by two. Give it our stripped. One, two, three. And our upside down stairs. One, two, and three. Now let's do it on every single one of these sections here. All right, there you go. All around like this. And it's looking really awesome like that. If you want, you guys can also texture a little bit. If you want to come in here and every once in a while with one of these stripped, you can come in here and give it a little bit of regular oak. You can go ahead and do that all the way around. I'm going to show you what it would look like. It's all up to you guys if you want to do it. If you want to keep it clean, you can go ahead and leave it how we had it. Just like this. Just a little bit of texture all the way around. Could look pretty cool. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to leave it just like that. So really super simple. Just remember, there is a log. Three block gap space, log, three block gap space, log, three block gap space, and a log going all the way around 13 by 13. Super simple. Now, next section here, let's go ahead and put logs facing right up against these logs, just like this, all the way around. And then also, once we place these all the way around, we're going to go ahead and put some stairs right on top of them but this time we're going to go with some spruce stairs so put spruce stairs on top of every one of these logs going all the way around just like this perfect now our spruce stairs are done so we got this level looking pretty good now next up let's get some stairs up i'm going to go with some regular spruce stairs we're going down one two three right here let's go one two three here and then on this part we're just going to go ahead and lay out spruce all the way around and this is going to be our floor level so let's cover all this up and there you go. The flooring, it's done. And if anything, just put some light down there so spiders don't spawn or little baby zombies don't spawn. But you should be all right. So now, next up, let's go back to this original corner and let's start lifting this up again. So I'm going to go up from here. It's already up by two, right? So now we're going to go three, four, five, six. Give it a space of three. One, two, three, four, five. Well, and six total from the bottom. Then next, let's go ahead and come in here with some stripped spruce logs and go up one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Down here, we're going to go with a stair of spruce. And then we're going to go with an upside down stair of spruce here, giving us a too high window. Now, you know what I'm going to do? Let's repeat this on every single section all the way around. 
There we go. Now, all of this is mirrored all the way around. Now, if you guys want to do a little bit of texturing as well, or if you want to keep it like this, that's fine. But let me show you how the texturing will look. Come back in here and give it a little bit of spruce plank, just in random places, just like this. It looks a little bit more weathered. It's been around a little longer. So I'm going to go ahead and spread this around this whole place. There we go. Nice and textured all the way around. Now, next up, let's go right here to the front and we're going to lift this log as well. So this is already a two. So let's go up three, four, five, and six, matching this one right here. And then again, one, two, three, four, five, and six, just like this. I'm going to grab some fences. I'm going to drop two here and two here of our oak. And it's going to look just like this. I'm going to put a little cross beam right at this level, this level, and this level, just like that for now. It's looking pretty good. Now, next up, I'm going to lift all these up in the middle right here. Everything is going up by one more. And then super simple, what we're going to do is once all these go up, so a total of seven now, we're going to cross beam every single one of these right here at this level. So let's cross beam this real fast. All right, everything is cross themed, looking awesome. Now, next up, this is what we're going to do. Let's grab our oak stairs and we're going to do an overhang right here, starting at this point with oak stairs going out one and two. So let's just go out two from here for now. We're going to take it all the way down. But for right now, let's just take this straight up. And this is what we're doing. It's just straight up like this upside down stair and we're going to go ahead and just meet up right in the center right until we get here we're going to go ahead and come right back down right from here so that center bit we're going to take this put a little upside down stair here for now put a little stair going this direction just like that and then just take it right back down and we're going to meet right back on the other end and it's going to look pretty good we're also going to match it on the opposite side so this is what we're using uh for right now we're going to go with our oak outer border and then spruce inner border just like this and then take this there all the way down right here and then just go ahead and repeat it on this side so take this down all the way and really super simple we're going to repeat that same step pattern up and down right here in this side all right that's looking pretty awesome check that out so next thing that we're going to do is completely fill the whole thing up with spruce from top to bottom and then we're going to be popping a lovely tower in the center but for right now just so you guys can see how awesome this looks and how simple it is to set up i'm going to go ahead and put this spruce all the way up all right check that out the roof is complete and it's looking all right but we're going to definitely add a bunch of details to that but for right now let's leave it just like this now next up let's work on a little roof on this little outside extension so same thing just going to come out with our oak stairs all the way down overhanging that bit this way and then we're just going to come back and do the same thing so stairs upside down simple step pattern till we get to the center i'm going to put a little upside down stair right on the top stair facing this way and then we're going to fill in the gaps right here just with our spruce going all the way down and then come back down this way and going all the way down this direction slabs in the center just like that so this is going to be the little roof there it looks pretty nice now Let's go ahead and fill in the gaps in the inside part here. Now, for this one, it's going to be super simple. Let's just come in with just strips, just going up just like this. Make it super simple. We're going to definitely texture it up. It's going to look a lot better. But for right now, just to make it easy, come in here with strips and just go from top to bottom. You can also go with a little bit of a Tudor style if you wanted to. Give it a little bit of a, of a nice pattern to it. But for right now, let's just make it simple. We're going to do it in the front and in the back. Cover it all up. There we go. Super simple on this side. Now for right here, we're also going to cover this up with some of that strip spruce right there. Then next up, let's grab some stairs. I'm going to go with upside down stairs here of spruce. Another one right here on this side. And then we're going to grab our lovely old trap door. I'm going to drop this trap door right in the center, just like that right here for now. Now, another thing that I'm going to do is let's add a little tiny window right here on the top. Super simple. We're just going to knock this down. So from this stair that we have, let's go down one, two, three. So let's actually take all uh well these two out right there but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna replace this one up here with a uh plank a spruce and then one over here so we have this lovely window and something else that i want to do is let's come in here and randomly scatter a little bit of texturing by giving some plank action here just in random spots just to make it look a little bit more beat up so something like that and then we mirrored this side in the back as well. But one thing that I really want to do, since this part looks very, very open and, and just completely clean, I want to go ahead and add a little bit of a pop-out area here, kind of mirroring exactly what we did here. But instead of a back door, I want to have a place for the cleric to sleep. Because right now, if you pretty much set this up as a church, legit church, um, it's going to be pews um, and it's not going to be a sleeping area. So I want a little spot for them to sleep. So let's do this. Let's actually get rid of this little bit right here. And we're going to mirror exactly what we did in the front. So let's grab our Log. go down one two and on the third one right here let's just go up one two three four five and six just like that give it a space of three right here one two three four five and six right there we're going to cross beam right at the top right there at this level 
Then, next up, let's do this part here. So, stripped, two down, three down, two down. Upside down stairs, right around this edge here. And what we're gonna do is, we're also gonna get rid of that stair that we had there. And then I'm gonna get rid of that stair as well. Let's actually double that up, and then close this off with slabs, just like so. Then, let's come back in here with stripped. Let's just go all the way around like this, leaving the middle one open. And then we can texture it also a little bit. But I'm gonna put a stair here, and a stair right there. It's gonna be a very small area to sleep, but it, it's a cleric, they don't need any more space than that, right? Uh, then, let's come in here and give it a little bit of texture, maybe something like this, something like that. And let's just maybe double that up. Uh, let's actually do a triple one there, that's perfect. Then, super simple, we're just gonna come back here with our stairs, overhang that bit, so our oak stairs are gonna overhang here. Pretty much repeating exactly what we did in the front part, just minus the front door and stuff. So let's go ahead and do this right here, upside down stair, stair forward and just uh, cover up the rest in uh, spruce stairs. And then right here in this little part, we're just gonna go ahead and bring down those strips and maybe one of these could be textured. So right there, we've got a little spot for uh, the cleric to sleep. Now next up, let's go ahead and give it a bunch more details. I'm gonna do our patented trick we love to do. Put some upside down, well, no, slabs on the bottom of those stairs. And then right here, usually I go with uh, some trap doors of a spruce, but what if we come in here and bring in some of our oak trap doors and give a little bit of a lining like that. So let's do this all the way down. We're gonna repeat this and we're gonna do it on all sides, even over here actually, just like this and bring that, no, bring these trap doors in there. And let's do this all the way around really quick. All right, now really quick, I'm just gonna add some glass. And you can add any kind of glass you want. I'm gonna go with this combination of a gray on the top and a white on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that all the way around really quick. There we go, the glass is in place and is looking very, very cool. Now next up, I'm gonna go ahead and add some trap doors. And now for these, I'm just gonna go all the way around. Usually I like putting them in one side, but I'm gonna go ahead and double them up. So one, uh, uh, two on each side of the windows going all the way around, uh, except for this one. So it's gonna look a little weird against that one. This corner bit, we're gonna have them on the right Right side this one we're gonna have it on the left side but up here we are gonna double them just like so so let's go ahead and match this all the way around also one quick little addition I'm gonna go ahead and add these logs here we didn't add them initially and this is gonna go ahead and wrap around just like so matching everything we're doing all the way around and then over here we're going with two trap doors and it's looking like this so far looking pretty awesome everything is looking nice now Right here, let's go to the front. I'm gonna go ahead and add our patented little archways here. So we're gonna go ahead right on this end, just like so. We're gonna go ahead and bring the trap doors all the way down, and it's gonna go down just like this. Now for this inside part, we're gonna make it look very, very cool and very simple. I'm gonna come back in here with trap doors. One, two, three. One, two, three. These are placeholders, this next one's one, and two, three. Let's close these up, and then let's get rid of those two. I'm gonna grab a door, and we're gonna put our, uh, Spruce door, I lost it, where did it go? Spruce door is gonna go right here on this side, so it's gonna be like this, and then for this top part, we're gonna go ahead and add some of the other lovely trapdoor, or oaks, and it's gonna go down like this, but it's gonna look like this from the other side. One more little trapdoor is gonna go right here on this part. Now, for up here, I'm just gonna go with stairs, one on this side, well, two on this side, two over here, I'm gonna bring our log and put that in the center, and it's gonna look just like this. Now I'm gonna grab a lantern, and we're gonna drop two lanterns. We're gonna put one right here and one right here, and it gives you a little bit of light as you come on in. It looks really cool like that. All right, now one tiny little bit of detail I wanted to add is a couple campfires. Why not? Let's go right here, one, two, and three. Let's extinguish those right there, and then I'm gonna put some of our spruce trap doors underneath. Just a tiniest little bit of an overhang there just to add a little bit of detail. Also, I wanna add one to this. Let's put a little um, fence gate here. Let's actually put one here. We're gonna repeat this also in the uh, in the back part and extinguish that. And let's go ahead and put one more here and extinguish that. So that looks really, really cool. Just add just a tiny little bit of detail there, which is always welcome. Then let's go ahead and add those to the back. And there you go, add it to the back, looking very, very awesome. Now, next up, let's work on the tower in the center. All right, now for the center tower, let's find the center. So it should be right about there, I'm assuming. So we're gonna count. So from here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks. From here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks. So right here, this is the center right there. So this is what I'm gonna do, just so we can get a guideline. It's gonna go two out, two out, two out from the center on all directions. And then just so you can get an idea, this is like a place, this is placeholder blocks. You're gonna get a little bit of a square going all the way around like this. And this is gonna be our tower. So now let's go right from this part all the way around, just like so. Let's take this all the way back down. So we're gonna go all the way down, we're gonna break through and go right down to here. So let's go all the way down, take that down right to here. So from this stair, this is the first time you see this log. It's one, two, 
three, four, five for now. So let's make these all into just cross beams on this end. So right at this level, all of these are cross beams straight down from one side to the next. And then we're just going to take these down all the way till uh, they disappear uh, right there. So take that all the way down. We're going to take also this one all the way down. They're all looking really good. Now to keep with the theme that we've been doing down here, let's go ahead and do this. Watch. We're going to grab this block. Let's take these away. Let's do this just to make it simple on ourselves. Let's go down one more on all of these right here. And let's actually cross at this level right here all the way around just like so. I'm going to make this into a little bell tower. Then let's actually cut the middle right here so we don't have to worry about this part and we can start detailing. So right here, let's take everything off right in the center bit just like so. If anything, you can always keep it clean like this, but this tower is really going to sell it and make it look really cool. So next up, let's grab our stripped oak log and go up right from this one, two, one, two, one and two. And here we're going to go with some upside down stairs, just like so. We can come back in here and give it a little bit of texture if you'd like. So it's going to look like this. So counting from here is again, one, two, three, four, five, cross beam in the center on the fourth, and then up by two with either stripped or plank and then stairs on the top. For this part, we're going to come back in right here in the center and let's just do this. Let's just fill this all in up by two on all of these going all the way around, just like we did in the front. And then we can come back out. Let's just sneak right here. Uh, let's go again. Upside down stairs right here. On this one, we can go ahead and do upside down stairs again. Uh, let's see if we can sneak that in right there. Perfect. So this goes all the way around. This one's not going to really matter because we have this. If anything, let's get rid of this one. And let's go with a full block there so we can get a better transition from one side to the next. Let's do it again on this side. And then let's go with our stairs one more time right here. Upside down, upside down. So it's looking like this all the way around. And again, we can come in here, give a little bit of texture. Now this is looking really good. I want to make this into a really cool bell tower. So let's actually take this up a little bit more. So right here, if we count from this above this stair, there's a one, two, three, four, five, right? Let's go up six, seven, and eight. Let's go up six, seven, and eight on all of these right here. Going all the way around. Then I'm going to go with some stairs. Let's go with some upside down stairs at this level going all the way around just like so. And then once we have those upside down stairs, please let's go ahead and come in the center bit, put some trap doors. And then also we're going to come back this direction and underneath every one of these stairs, we're going to put more of our spruce trap door. So it should look like this. Now, next up, let's grab some fences. I'm going to go right here on the tippy top with some regular old oak fences all the way around just like this. And then we're going to take this up one more time. The log is going to go up again and then we're going to cross beam. So just all the way around, just like so. Perfect. So we have our bell tower looking awesome. Now let's go ahead and get some details placed. We're going to do some oak going upside down on our stairs, every other one. And then we're going to repeat it over on every single side of this tower. Then in the center, we're going to grab some oak slabs and we're going to place these right in between in the gaps between the stairs. All right, now that we have this, let's grab our oak trap door and we're going to place these down on the corner bits of these logs right here underneath those stairs. All right, now let's work on the tower a bit. Now for the tower section, the top part, I want to do this one out of spruce. So let's do this really quick. Let's grab some full blocks and I'm going to go uh, right here. Let's go one, two and three in between these little log pieces. Let's go three, three and three, just like that. This little uh, gaps we have here, let's go ahead and put some uh, slabs of spruce, just like so. And then right here, we're going to go ahead and put slabs and trap doors next to them. Let's go slab. Oh, no, it's not a slab. Slab and then trap doors next to them right here. And let's repeat this all the way around, just like so. All right, perfect. We got all that set up. Now, next up, let's put full blocks in the center bits all the way around, just like so. And then let's grab stairs and we're going to put stairs next to those full blocks going all the way around just like this. Then on top of these full blocks, let's go with stairs facing inwards all the way around like so. All right, we got that place. Let's go with some full blocks and I'm going to go with a full block right here next to the stairs going all the way around. And let's actually take those up by two just like this. Then next up, let's go with some stairs upside down on every single spot in those gaps. And then let's go ahead and lift these full blocks right in front of all of these stairs going all the way around, just like so. Then we're going to grab more stairs. Let's put them this direction. So the front door is here. We're going to put stairs on the sides and then on the sides here, like so. 
Then we're gonna go with four blocks again on top and stairs on top of those four blocks we just placed. Let's put a full block in the middle, another full block, and then one more full block on top. We're gonna grab our spruce trap doors and surround this little section here on top of the stairs. And then on top of this, we're gonna go with a uh, fence, a fence, and an iron bar on the tippy top, just like that. Now, one tiny little bit of detail I wanna add is some uh, spruce pressure plates right here. And it looks really cool because it gives you like a little slight gradual uh, up and down right here, adding that little bit right there. So let's go, go ahead and add that all the way around. Uh, let's grab some spruce buttons. And I wanna put these buttons right here on the top above the trap doors, just to add even more detail, just like that. That's a really, really cool tower. Then let's go on the inside and I'm gonna add a little bell. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna use the Minecraft bell. So let's come down here with our log and take it all the way down. I wanna take it, uh, let's see, if we count from the very, very top, which is right in that gap. Um, let's actually take this all the way down. So let's count from here. This is level, right? So another one, two, three, four, five, right there, five. Let's grab a barrel. I'm gonna actually put a barrel right on this level. So if you are out here, you see the barrel right at that level there. Then I'm gonna grab our bell and we're just gonna put the bell right underneath that, right, oh, no, there, perfect. So the bell's actually centered right on this level. So right where these trapdoors are at is eye level to that, right there all the way around. Looking pretty cool. Then, next up, I'm just gonna cover up this little bit right here. Uh, I'm not gonna put a weight up here. Uh, we're just gonna seal this in. It's gonna look all right, so something like that. Now for added details, I'm just gonna add uh, some lanterns on the inside. You can put torches too, um, that'll be fine, but I'm just gonna add lanterns on the top right here, and it just adds a little glow, so you can see that, and nothing really spawns because of that there. Now this tower is awesome, but I wanna add a little bit more girth on the bottom, a little bit more thickness, all right? So let's get rid of this corner bit. I'm gonna put a placeholder block here, and let's put a log right here. Let's do the same thing here. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. Let's put a, a placeholder block on the inside of that and let's go up by two on this side, matching that that we have right there. Let's actually go up by three on all of these, just like that. Let's go ahead and knock this down again. Let's go ahead and put our placeholder on the inside and go up one, two, three. Let's get rid of that one. Placeholder, one and two. Do it again here. Get rid of this one. Placeholder, one and two. Take that one out. Placeholder, one, two, three. Again, right here one more time. One, placeholder, one, two, three. Take that one out, placeholder, one and two. And then let's grab our spruce stairs and place them downwards. And this just stickers out uh, the tower so we have a little bit more support. Now by adding that tower, this roof looks 100% better. But you know what would make it look a little bit better? A couple windows. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna put windows everywhere on the top here. You see a window on the bottom. So I'm not gonna have a second floor. It's just gonna give it a little more natural light inside this thing. So let's go up right from this window. So right from this stair, let's go up another one and two. Right here, let's knock these three down. But I'm gonna come back in here and put some stairs and face them this direction, just like so, so right on the center bit. And then we're gonna grab our slab and put one right here at this level. Let's repeat it. So right from here, right from the stair, we're gonna go back one, two, let's knock these three, put our stairs this way and come back this direction. Put a little slab on top right there. Now one more, right from this stair, we're gonna go up one, two, three, take these three out and one more time. Let's put these three this way and then these this way, another little slab on top, looking like this. Then over here, I'm just gonna go with some white glass. Let's go boom, boom, and boom. Now from the inside part that you see here, we're just gonna grab some cross beams and take this beam down all the way down right at this level right there. Now we can get rid of these little placeholders that were there before, and we really don't need them right on this side, right there. Perfect, now let's repeat these windows on this side. Right now the inside is looking really cool, really spacious, so let's go ahead and detail this up. So since we have cross beams here, cross beam on this side where the windows are, let's do the cross beams again. Let's do another one right here at this level. Let's take this all the way down so it looks like this. And then over here we can go ahead and put another one just like so, giving you that extra bit of detail. We're also gonna do it right here on this end, and we're gonna get rid of these and put them sideways. So get rid of this, and then sideways those logs like so. And then one more time, let's go ahead and cross beam right here. And then we can go ahead and cross beam right there. Cross beams everywhere, looking lovely. Now, next up, I'm gonna go ahead and detail this top. So let's just put upside down stairs here, upside down stairs here, cross beam on that end, looking just like so. And again, on this side. So upside down stairs, upside downs, cross beam in the center, just like so. Now, 
right here, we're gonna go ahead and uh, arch this out a little more, right? So what if we put some stairs, right? One on this side, one on this side. Go ahead and put one here, and one here, just like so. Let's actually put another one on this side and we're gonna continue this going down, give you a nice little look to it. Let's put another bit of stair action there. Let's continue it over here, going all the way down. This is pretty much mirroring and matching these beams you see right here, kind of arching over and around like this. Now, to connect this arch to make it look a little better, let's do this. Let's grab some trapdoors and I'm gonna go ahead and put these trapdoors like this. I'm gonna put them underneath. I'm gonna put them underneath right there. So you see that? It follows this cool little arch effect and we're gonna do it again here. So let's go ahead and put those trapdoors going all the way around, underneath and underneath these, just like so. That looks super cool. Let's actually put a couple more right on this side since we have them over there. Perfect. All right, now let's detail the center bit. So I'm gonna cover this up. Let's go ahead and put some full blocks of our spruce. Let's just cover this little bit up here on the top. I'm gonna bring our oak log and let's go down here. Let's go down one, two, three, four. I think four is perfect for now. Then on the inside, let's go ahead and put some upside down stairs. So this is our front door, so two this way. And then we're gonna put two this way. Put some oak trap doors in the gaps going like that. Then I wanna give this like a little cool chandelier. So what if we get a wall? Let's go ahead and just put a stone brick wall right here. Let's grab some oak fence and let's put a wall. Let's go with a fence going all the way around like so. And then I'm gonna drop down some lighting here. So let's grab our lantern and it's gonna go around just like so. And we're gonna have a little chandelier in the center. That looks really, really awesome. Then let's actually replace this top part right here with a barrel just to change the texture just a little bit. That looks a lot better like that. Look how cool. We can make the chandelier a little bigger, but I think for right now, it's looking pretty good. All right, now next bit of detail. I'm gonna go over here with some fence gates and let's line this part up right here on this side. We're also gonna do it right here on the top bit. And it just gives you just a little bit more detail on that uh, level. We're also gonna repeat it on this side. Also for some added details, we're gonna come right here in the center, put a wall, put a fence and put a lantern. So let's go ahead and repeat that over here as well. So we're gonna go ahead and put a wall, put a fence and put a lantern right there, adding a little bit more light. It's a little higher elevation, but it looks really, really cool. We can actually lower that down if you want and add more details, but I think we're pretty good in this section. Now, let's grab some trap doors. I'm gonna put a couple right here next to the window from the inside, and then just add just a little bit more. So we're gonna go ahead and put this all the way around, just like so. All right, now for the interior here, let's set up all the little pews and stuff. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go with some oak stairs and a little bit of our oak log. So we're gonna add these right here. So let's go right on the back. Instead of going all the way to the back, let's take it right to this uh, second part, right in front of this window. I'm gonna put an oak log here and two stairs, oak log right here, and then some spruce trap doors. And we're gonna go every other one, just like this, and stop right there. So it's just gonna go, uh, we're gonna have one, two, three, four pews going this way, and then our oak logs here, trap doors on this end. So we're just gonna repeat this thing on this side, matching it right from this log. So right here, going down, going down like this, every other one, and we're just gonna go up four and four, and let's set this up real fast. All right, so it should look like this, and then we got our little seats there. Now, for this part here, let's actually put a stair. Let's go with an upside down stair here. This is the back end, uh, so we can put a little bedroom. Let's actually put some upside down stairs on the top and our little cross beam, just how we did in the front. And then let's make this very, very simple. I'm just gonna go with a stair. Let's place it right at this level. Uh, so it's gonna go right here, pretty much one block away from this side, and it's gonna be an upside down facing this direction. Let's do another one right about there. And then let's put a spruce uh, trap door right in the center, just like this. So priest comes out, they're sleeping, and say, oh, it's time to do mass or something. And then they stand right here. Uh, then <laughs> let's go ahead and get rid of that. Actually, let's get rid of this spruce trap door. I'm gonna put a enchanting table in the center. It's a little book. And then let's go with our spruce going down like this. Let's close it up. So it looks like this from this side. So it literally looks like a book right there waiting for the, the preacher to do their thing. This is how we can leave it. Or if you want, we can actually close this part too. So it could look like that. Either way, I think it looks like good like this too. Then we could put some uh, brewing stands, one on each side for the clerics. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's pretty simple right there, right? It looks nice. Now, right here, let's do a couple more things. Uh, right on the top here, let's put some upside down stairs, every other one right at that level. And then we're gonna go ahead and put uh, some trap doors in between and trap doors underneath right here, just like so. Then on the top here, let's just get uh, some, I'm gonna put some sea pickles up here. Let's put some flower pots over here as well. Uh, and let's just dress this part up just a little bit. So I'm gonna put sea pickles, let's put a couple, it looks like little candles. And then in these parts here, we're gonna put some of those uh, lovely old flower pots and let's give it some plant action. Why not, let's do a little fern 
and let's do a little of the valley or something like that going down like so. And that just adds a little more detail to that. Doesn't that look cool? That looks nice. All right, now for this little corner bit, I was gonna add a couple tables. So let's put an upside down stair here, upside down stair here, trap door in the middle. Let's add another one over here. So an upside down stair, upside down stair, trap door in the center. And just add a bunch of uh, stuff. Let's go with the uh, flower pot. Lantern, a couple sea pickles, go random again, a couple sea pickles there. Let's go with a flower pot and uh, one more sea pickle, why not? <laughs> oh, we can add a lantern just so we can match what's happening over there. So that looks really nice. Put a little door and then here we can set up some stuff. Well, I can actually leave that there, that's fine. Uh, we can put a hanging light right there. Let's add a bed. Uh, let's go with a little red bed. I'm gonna put it right on this end. Let's go with a barrel. Oh, actually, we might not have to use these barrels. They might bring fishermen. Uh, it's all up to you guys, though. You can take it out. That's fine. Uh, but, you know, what? I'm just going to leave it. Once you have the villagers set with their trade, they're always going to be that villager. So you can always have them as a cleric here. So it's no big deal. Uh, so let's go with uh, a barrel here. It's going to go with a couple barrels on the top. Let's go with an upside down stairs here. So a little storage. Uh, right here, we can go with a flower pot. Maybe a little flower on the inside. Let's go with a little blue orchid. Uh, maybe a chest right here. Might be fine. Uh, or we can even go with a lectern. But you know what? Just in case. Library. Uh, but you know, if, if, just like we said, if, if they're locked, they're locked. Uh, and then just a nice old painting on this side make it super simple and i think we should be good to go that's an evil paint let's go oh that looks like they're on fire oh, i don't know about these no it's, 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 uh, you know what that all oh, the angel beautiful so that's it that's their bedroom we have this little spot and you know what else one more thing we could do we can actually put some item frames in the back like this all the way around right and then grab a book and this could be, you know, where they do all their hymns and are singing and stuff. Uh, so let's put these on the back. And that just adds just a little bit more detail. Also, we can add carpet to the floor if you want. I'm going to leave it clean like this so it can look nice and pretty. But it's all up to you guys if you want to dress this up even more. But I think we're pretty good. One more thing I want to do is I want to mirror this little part. And there it is. Just to add to the trapdoor loveliness, a little surrounding border of the spruce going around like that. There it is. The cleric is hard at work already, waiting for the whole village to show up for mass. But this is awesome. Oh, look, he's excited. All right, see you soon. I'll let the whole village know. But that's it. That's all there is to it. Let me know what you guys think of this brand new church design. Perfect for a 114 or 115 Plains Village. This is so cool. I'm so glad I went with the wood theme instead of the traditional stone. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. And let me know what we should build next. We got a couple more left before we finish this off and at the end i'm gonna do a world tour or download so you guys can have all these awesome plains village um villager houses in your worlds but i'm out of here for now thank you all so much for watching i'll catch you in the very next episode goodbye <laughs>